Former President Donald Trump returned to his familiar style at a recent rally in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. His speech was filled with crude remarks and personal insults. This has become a pattern for the former president. However, this time feels different. The 2024 election is nearing and Trump's behavior is raising concerns. Some worry his words could alienate moderate voters. Pennsylvania is a key battleground state. Every vote counts. Trump's behavior is a gamble. He needs to win back voters who rejected him in the past. His aggressive style could push them away. Golfer Arnold Palmer was subjected to a particularly offensive remark. Vice President Kamala Harris was also a target. Trump's insults were personal and demeaning. This type of rhetoric has become a hallmark of his political career. Trump's allies are worried. They fear his behavior will hurt his chances in the election. They believe he needs to tone down his rhetoric. Whether he will listen remains to be seen. The stakes are high. The future of American politics hangs in the balance. Trump's behavior is demeaning and beneath the office of the president. We need dignity and respect in leadership. A vice president Kamala Harris condemned Trump's behavior. She called his words demeaning and beneath the office of the president. Harris emphasized the need for dignity and respect in leadership. She presented a stark contrast to Trump's style. Harris's response went beyond condemning Trump. She used the opportunity to address other pressing issues. The ongoing conflict in Gaza was one example. Harris condemned the high number of Palestinian casualties. She also stressed the need for a peaceful resolution. Harris's response was measured and thoughtful. She avoided stooping to Trump's level. Instead, she took the high road. This approach may resonate with voters who are tired of the constant negativity. Harris's response highlights the clear choice facing voters. They can choose Trump's divisive rhetoric, or they can choose Harris's focus on unity and respect. The decision will have far-reaching consequences. Donald Trump made a calculated move to undermine Kamala Harris. He visited a McDonald's in Pennsylvania. This was not a random act. It was a direct attack on Harris's past. Harris often speaks about working at McDonald's during college. She uses this experience to connect with working-class voters. Trump's visit was an attempt to discredit her story. He claimed she never worked at the fast food chain. Kamala Harris never worked at McDonald's. It's just another one of her lies. Trump's claim is baseless. There is no evidence to support it. However, that doesn't matter to Trump. He is willing to say anything to win. His supporters are often drawn to his willingness to challenge the status quo. The McDonald's stunt is a prime example of Trump's tactics. He makes outrageous claims with no evidence. He then relies on his supporters to believe him. Whether this strategy will work in 2024 is unclear. Voters are more divided than ever. Donald Trump is walking a tightrope. His aggressive rhetoric energizes his base. They love his willingness to fight. However, his words alienate moderate voters. They find his behavior offensive. Trump's base is loyal. They are unlikely to abandon him. However, he needs more than his base to win. He needs to attract independent voters. These voters are often turned off by extreme rhetoric. The 2024 election will be a test of Trump's strategy. Can he energize his base without alienating moderates? It is a difficult balance to strike. Trump's success or failure will have a profound impact on American politics. If Trump wins, it will embolden him. He will likely become even more aggressive. If he loses, it will send a message. Voters will have rejected his divisive rhetoric. Section 5. The Civility Debate. Striking a balance between free speech and respect. Donald Trump's behavior has reignited the debate about civility in politics. Some argue that his unfiltered style is refreshing. They believe he is speaking his mind. Others find his behavior appalling. They believe he is damaging democracy. The debate over civility is complex. There is no easy answer. On the one hand, free speech is a fundamental right. People should be able to express themselves freely. On the other hand, words have consequences. They can be used to incite violence and hatred. Finding the right balance is crucial. Politicians should be able to criticize their opponents. However, there should be limits. Personal attacks and insults are never acceptable. They undermine democracy and erode public trust. The debate over civility is likely to continue. It is a reflection of the deep divisions in American society. Finding common ground will be difficult. However, it is essential for the health of our democracy. 
Section 6. The Fight Against Misogyny. A Persistent Challenge in Politics. Kamala Harris is a target. She is a woman in power. She is also a woman of color. This makes her a target for misogyny and racism. These forces are deeply ingrained in society. Harris's experience is not unique. Women in politics often face sexism and discrimination. They are held to different standards than men. Their qualifications are questioned. Their appearance is scrutinized. The attacks on Harris are part of a larger pattern. Women are underrepresented in politics. They face numerous barriers to entry. Misogyny is one of the most significant. The fight against misogyny is ongoing. It requires constant vigilance. It also requires calling out sexism and discrimination whenever it occurs. Silence is not an option. Section 7. The Media's Dilemma. Amplifying Trump or Holding Him Accountable. The media faces a dilemma. How should they cover Donald Trump? On the one hand, he is a former president. He is a major figure in American politics. His words and actions are newsworthy. On the other hand, Trump is a master manipulator. He knows how to use the media to his advantage. He courts controversy. He makes outrageous statements. He knows this will generate headlines. Some argue that the media gives Trump too much attention. They believe this normalizes his behavior. Others argue that it is important to hold powerful people accountable. They believe the public has a right to know what Trump is saying and doing. There is no easy answer. The media must strike a balance. They need to cover Trump's actions responsibly. They also need to avoid becoming his unwitting accomplices. Section 8. A Call to Action. Voters must reject divisive rhetoric. The 2024 election is a crossroads. Voters face a stark choice. They can choose unity and respect. Or they can choose division and hatred. The choice is clear. Donald Trump represents the politics of division. He thrives on conflict. He seeks to divide Americans along racial, ethnic, and religious lines. His rhetoric is dangerous. It undermines democracy. Voters must reject Trump's divisive rhetoric. They must send a message that his brand of politics is unacceptable. They can do this by supporting candidates who espouse unity and respect. The future of American democracy depends on it. Section 9. The Power of the Ballot Box. Choosing Unity and Respect. The ballot box is a powerful tool. It is the means by which citizens exercise their power. In a democracy, the people decide. They choose their leaders. They shape their destiny. The 2024 election is an opportunity. Voters can choose a different path. They can reject the politics of division. They can embrace the politics of unity and respect. This requires voting for candidates who embody these values. It also requires holding elected officials accountable. Citizens must demand better from their leaders. They must demand civility, respect, and a commitment to the common good. The power rests with the people. They must choose wisely. Section 10. Beyond the election, fostering a more civil and democratic society. The 2024 election is important. However, it is just one moment in time. The work of building a more civil and democratic society is ongoing. It requires sustained effort. Citizens must engage in respectful dialogue. They must listen to one another. They must seek to understand different perspectives. This is the foundation of a healthy democracy. Education is also crucial. Citizens must be taught about the importance of civility and respect. They must learn how to engage in constructive dialogue. These skills are essential for a functioning democracy. The media also has a role to play. They must report responsibly. They must avoid amplifying divisive rhetoric. They must provide a platform for diverse voices. Section 11, the enduring legacy, the stakes of political discourse. The words of our leaders matter. They have the power to inspire. They also have the power to divide. The way we talk about politics has consequences. Donald Trump's rhetoric has coarsened our political discourse. He has normalized personal attacks and insults. He has made it acceptable to demonize opponents. This is a dangerous trend. It undermines democracy. It erodes public trust. It makes it difficult to address the challenges facing our nation. We must do better. We must demand better from our leaders. 
we must hold them accountable for their words and actions. The future of our democracy depends on it.